Hi, I'm Mary Haifman, PGA and LPGA golf pro from Missing Links Golf Club in Mequon, Wisconsin. All right, now this is gonna be a toughie because I wanna try to show you like an uphill lie and in our, our yard is not quite as uphill as I want it, but I'm gonna, it's still tilted. So when I, I'm gonna choose a club, the ball should naturally, because of this hill here, because of the hill and the angle, when I use my lob wedge, I'm gonna come through, my lob wedge is going to look like it's even more of a lob wedge. It's gonna have a lot more loft because I'm swinging up the hill. So maybe I decide if I don't, if I, if I hit it high, I'm not gonna go as far. So maybe I need to use my sand wedge for the same distance as when I was gonna use my lob wedge. So you're gonna to have to experiment with the, the lie and how much uphill you are. So an uphill lie, I'm, my weight's gonna be farther back on my back foot because of the tilt of the hill. So I can feel that. So naturally, I'm gonna swing up the hill. As I'm coming through, I'm gonna to try to swing up and make sure that I swing, keep my path on my um, uphill. By the way, I love uphill shots. They're really much easier to hit. So as I swing through and finish, the ball's gonna pop up in the air and it's gonna go through. So I've gotta be able to eventually judge my distance on the, on the uh, backswing and the speed that I'm coming through. Now, if I wanted to add a little bit more height, then I could actually hinge a little here. So I used a chip shot, and you saw how much height I got. I could hinge, and it's gonna go up even higher, but it's gonna go farther. So you can see it's on the, on the driveway. But, so the, the idea is, is make yourself look and see what kind of lie you have. Are you uphill, downhill, side hill? Then what you wanna to try to do is position your body to get on, put more weight on your bottom foot side, which on the uphill I would be my right side, my back foot. Make sure that you tilt your body accordingly, swing along the hill and force yourself to finish. Look at how the shots come off and that way you can start reading your shot and being able to comfortably know what's gonna happen because you're gonna know what your ball flight is gonna do and you can apply it to different situations. Get out of your practice, this is the best time to do what we're doing and then play lots of games so you put yourself under some stress and you'll see how much you're gonna improve when you get on the course.